So, hey everyone, it's your girl Teacher Rose. And before I get into this video, I just would like to apologize for the video situations. Last week, things were really bad. I was trying to load one video for like four days, no exaggeration whatsoever. This curtain needs to leave me the hell alone before I tie it up, literally. But anyway, um, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm hopefully gonna make up for it this in this video. And today's topic is a sequel to what I did week before last Thursday when I spoke about the 10 things that guys do to annoy their girlfriends and today's video is going to be about the 10 things that girls do to annoy their boyfriends and number one boys hate when girls annoy them when they're playing games like when they're really into their Xbox and their PS4s or whatever the game they're playing and their girlfriends just constantly nighting them it's like can you please just go like go somewhere go away two sulking and then denying that something's wrong girls we do this a lot we love to get upset like I said in the other video we like to get upset and then we don't say why we're upset and we just want people to guess so if you're upset just tell them why you're upset and stop sulking get over it three when you are constantly trying to change him this is really tough because you met him like that you met him the way that he is, which means you began to like him the way that he was. Why, a couple months into a relationship, you trying to change him into something that he wasn't? If you didn't like him or you knew that you wasn't going to like that quality about him, then you shouldn't have stopped yourself and be like, hey, this is not the guy for me, and then move on. Four, being too clingy or too independent. Guys don't like a girl that's always on them, constantly taxing them every second of every day. Need to know where he is, what he's doing, who he's with, what he's drinking, what he's eating, too much. But they also don't like those girls that are too independent. Those girls that, you know, they just don't care. They just out there doing their own thing. They own thing. They move into they they dance into their own music. They ain't on nobody run. If you care, they can if you care, then that's good. If you don't, they're like psh. Too bad for you. Five. Guys hate tagging along with girls for shopping. They hate it. And even if they don't admit it, every time you ask a guy, babe, I want to go to the mall to get a sh They're like, um, I, um, um, I want to take, um, they're trying to find every excuse in the book not to go. That means he doesn't want to go, girl. Just, just find one of your girlfriends and you go to the mall and get what you want to do because you know you're going to go to the mall and you're going to take 10 hours to get, you only came to the mall for one shirt and then you leave with like a bunch of stuff that you don't even need. Yeah, just find a girlfriend. Don't ask him. He doesn't want to go. He really doesn't want to go. Even if he tries to make you feel like he wants to go, he doesn't want to go. Another thing which comes along with the being clingy and stuff is not giving him enough space. Like if he's out with his boys, constantly texting him when he text texting. Yes, that's the word. Texting him when he's with his friends. And it's different. If he messages you or if you have something important to say or, you know, it's just a short conversation, that's fine. But if you're messaging him the entire time that he's with his friends, he might as well not be with his friends. He might as well just be with you. Um, number seven, going through his cell phone. Guys hate when girls go through their cell phone. Girls hate when guys go through their cell phone too, so I don't understand what's the big deal. I mean, girls are more lenient about because, you know. But I mean, I feel as if the only way that you're going to get upset with me because I'm going through your cell phone is if you have something to hide. If you don't have anything to hide, it's going to be fine. If you have something to hide, you're going to always be coming up with an excuse to not let me go through your cell phone. But... Girls, if you trust your man, there's no need to go through a cell phone. Just asking, ask him. I'm stupid today. Just ask him if he has anything going on. And if he denies it, then he denies it. And then if you find out something's going on, then you just meet him in the place where it hurts him most. Number eight. I think this is number eight. Um, getting emotional over nothing. Like his moods. Like if he comes home upset from work. You know that he's upset from work. He's not upset at you. Why do you get upset because he's upset? Yes, you want him to be happy, but that's your job to make him, ha make him happy. If you get upset while he's upset, he's going to be like, she only looking for attention, and I ain't even on that run, daddy. See what I see? So, number nine. Guys don't like. It annoys them, or like it gives them a bit, gets them down when girls are constantly asking if they love them or if they're cheating on them. Or whatever the case may be. Especially if your guy really loves you. If your guy is really not cheating on you. It makes him feel as if you don't trust him. Or he's not doing enough to make you 
love him or to prove to you that he loves you and it gets annoying after a while and he's gonna be like it's time to stop trying so you should really listen and really if things start you can tell if someone's cheating on you and you can tell if someone's falling out of love with you and if that happens just sit down and talk about it before it gets too worse too worse yeah i'm at my worst today today apparently before it gets too bad and if things have to fall apart then let them fall apart nicely don't let it get to the point where everything is just haywire thing i think this is number nine number nine guys don't like when girls stalk their exes first of all if his ex is still in his life then you have a problem from the beginning you should have made sure that she was in there from the start second of all it's not her fault. Yes, she knows that you two have something going on now and they, they are supposed to be history. But you're the, in the relationship with him, not her. You need to take it up with him. You need to let him know that, hey, baby, I don't know what's going on between y'all two, but I don't like it. And either you could let it stop or you could something need to give, you know? And number 10, last but not least. Guys hate when girls unnecessarily get upset because he's making small conversation with some regular girl. Like if he's just saying hey how you doing how's life been going there's no need to get alarmed there's no need for your horns your devil horns to come out of your head because he's just talking but now when he starts to become to begin flirting you step in and you be like hey what's your name oh he doesn't talk about you you know yes you're gonna be being that bad thing that bad word that i'm not gonna say but at least she's going to know that you were territorial. And at least he's going to know that, hey, she noticed what I'm doing and it's time to step back. But anyways, guys, those are 10 things that annoy guys. That girls do to annoy their boyfriends. Yes, 10 things that girls do to annoy their boyfriends. And if you know anybody that gets upset over these things or if some of these things pertain to you or if you like this video, then give this thumbs up and comment and leave anything so if you think that I forgot in the comments below I will leave the links to my Twitter Instagram and to my Facebook in the description below and I put out new videos every Sunday and Thursday and it's t-shirts and peace I'm out uh, my favorite flowers would be white roses white roses are so beautiful uh, my favorite clothing stores are Forever 21, Wet Seal, Agassi, and American Eagle. My favorite perfume would have to be, right now, would be Beyonce Heat. That's the favorite 